Good evening. An Alachua County civil suit involving award-winning rapper Plies was dropped today with a stipulation from the judge. Gunshots were fired and people heard at a Gainesville nightclub in 2006. TV Twice' Josh Rosenthal tells us this was the second civil suit brought against Plies after that. But lawyers on both sides don't expect it to be the last. You want no problem, homie? Plies' music video, I Am The Club, is what these five plaintiffs call just one example of Plies profiting from a 2006 shooting at a downtown Gainesville nightclub known at the time as 238 West. It's now called The Vault, and one of its new owners says, despite revamping the interior and the culture within the club, shaking the Plies shooting stigma hasn't been easy. At first, we used Third and uh, University as our uh, location because as soon as people hit 238, they uh, right away think of a shooting. For the second time, an Alachua County judge dropped the civil suit against Plies, his brother, and his record label today. But the plaintiffs do have 20 days to amend their complaint, and their lawyer, Christopher Chestnut, plans to do just that. Plies' lawyer, Robert Rush, says he's not surprised, but he doesn't think the facts back it up. It doesn't seem like anything. Uh, any of the facts or circumstances really matter a whole lot. The shots were fired from where I'm standing right now just four years ago. Neither attorney disputes that Plies was not the one who fired the shots, but they do have differing views of the role that he played in the incident. I'm sure if he had no money, and if he had no notoriety, and if he wasn't making records, there would be no loss. He characterized it as if he is the principal, as if he is the guy. He is the gangster. He's the thug. He's the goon. Yes, that's what he's selling, and that's why we're suing him. So the lawsuit might come back, but one nightclub owner who's revamped the scene of the crime hopes the stigma doesn't. Josh Rosenthal, TV20 News. Plies pleaded no contest to a charge of possession of a firearm, but served no jail time. His brother, though, served three years for the same charge because he was a convicted felon.